Welcome to the 27th episode of your Technology Questions Answered, and I'm your host, Steve Smith, a.k.a. Z-Axis, and we are April 3rd, 2011. Today, the world has prying eyes. You've got thieves, you've got frifrauders, you've got blackmailers, it be friends, family, or foe. You've got government agencies and police agencies trying to get documents on your hard drive, and you even have governments trying to put in new laws for backdoors and encryption, which don't exist at all yet. So folks, what am I going to be explaining today? Well folks, I'm going to show you how to use encryption and stenography, something I've already talked about before, but I'm going to do it in real time. Now, why would you need encryption and stenography? Well, a lot of you have personal documents on your computer, personal photos, sensitive information, whether it be personal or other, maybe business, but a lot of you do not want other people to know about this, especially in the business world. You do not want people getting a hold of secret projects. Like me, everything I have that I'm not finished and not put up is encrypted. Now, this means nobody can see it. And just to point something out to all of you, you use encryption every day. You're just not aware of it. I'm going to make you aware of this. The most common form of encryption used by people is the secure socket layer, SSL, website starting with HTTPS. That means your banks and financial institutions, corporate websites, stores on the internet they're all using SSL then you go on to various forms of hardware your PlayStation 3 your Xbox 360 your Nintendo Wii they all use encryption to protect from hackers and pirators you've got your video games on your computer that also use encryption to keep you from actually copying the disk now why is it all the way around well when we're looking at the 1990s, encryption was not used at all. In fact, it was actually considered by the American government as being a weapon of mass destruction, although technically it can't explode. Now, the reason why they w didn't want people to use it is because anything put out into the market can be used by good or bad people. At this point, bad people already know how to do this and they're probably not listening to this podcast. So I'm talking to you good people who do not want to get into a lot of trouble because somebody misinterprets one of your documents. So follow along and I'll show you how to encrypt your documents. Just so I can point something out. The word encryption comes from the word encrypt which comes from the word cryptology or crypt. Crypt as in cipher. Cipher is basically an index to encode and decode text and data in a way that you cannot actually perceive without the cipher text. Without the cipher text to decode the encoded message, there is no way to know what's there. Now, I'm going to be showing you something that is considered advanced encryption, even though the program TrueCrypt does it, basically without using too much force from your part. Just follow along. The instructions will be in the show notes, and you can always go back in the video to any other section. Now, I'm going to start with basic encryption, so a small file container, and then I will do stenography, the use of a hidden partition. Keep in mind, it's you that decides the cipher password. It is also you that decides the size of the file container. So, folks... Follow along. To the file encryption. Folks, we're going to start by creating a encrypted file container. This only requires you to have TrueCrypt. Open up TrueCrypt. Click Create Volume. Create an encrypted file container. Click Next. Standard TrueCrypt Volume. Click Next. Volume Location. I'm going to the desktop using the file demo.tc. Hit Save. Then click next. Keep in mind you don't need to really use any fancy extension. It doesn't matter. It will bitch if it's not CC, but that's not our problem. It's its problem. It will still work. They're just bitching about the fact that the antivirus might conceive it as being a virus. Now, encryption options. AES is one of the best, so click next. 
volume size. I'm selecting 1 meg so the file format is fairly fast. So, 1 meg, we hit next. Create the outer volume password, or the volume password in this case. Make sure it's at least 20 characters or more. The maximum is 64. Hold on. Okay, apparently the top one's not the same. There. Click Next. Now, Volume Format. Just move your mouse around a few times, make it complete random, hit Format, and we'll be fine. Click, click. Volume created. Now if you click Next, we'll just create another one, so hit Exit at this point. Now, since we're already here, we can actually create a hidden partition. This takes a little bit longer, people. Just bear along with me. So, we click Create Volume again. Yay! Except this time, instead of creating an encrypted file container, we're going to encrypt a non-system partition or drive. You can use a flash drive, people. You can also optionally create a directed hidden volume, but we're going to use the options within. So we're going normal mode. Now, in normal mode, we click next. Volume location, which is select device. Select a partition or drive that you've already intended for this purpose. Click OK. Now there's this whole message about how it's actually easier for you to create a file on your hard drive and contain a hidden partition within, but this is not our point. We're trying to encrypt a hard drive. So are you sure you want to encrypt the entire device or partition? Yes, it's only 4.7 gigs, so two minutes of format. Then click Next. Now the outer volume, of course, most of this is automatic. Click next, AES, next, outer volume size is already defined by the size of the partition, outer volume password, enter one now, enter a short one, click next. We're not going to store any big files in here, but if you want to, you can click yes. Otherwise, leave it at no and then click next. Outer volume format, same thing as before, just move your mouse randomly and click next. Are you, do you want to proceed with the format? Yes. Now this is going to take two minutes, so we're going to cut it. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. And the outer volume is formatted. So at this point, you can open the outer volume and stick a bunch of files in here that you think people might want to see. So I've got that demo TC file and the bit.ly.txt text document I created before. Just stick it in there. They're going to look at that demo.tc file and ask what the hell is in there. And they might actually be more interested by this than what we're doing next. Now folks, at the outer volume win outer volume contents window, just click next. Now we're working with the hidden volume. This is where you're going to put all the junk and stuff and personal documents and classified materials you don't want anybody to see and you're going to keep your mouth shut about the password. So click next. AES again. Now I have 4.65 gig of space. Let's say 1 gig of partitioned space for documents. We click next. Now we use an even more complicated password. That way, nobody gets into the documents. Now, with a sufficiently long password means a lot more security. Click next. Again, since it is only one gig, I can't put any large files in it, we're going to leave it at a fat file format. All you do now is click format after moving your mouse around like crazy to make the random pull actually random. Hit format. It is now actually, how do we say, formatted. Now, there's a bunch of warnings you will have to read, but basically you'll have to use the protection of hidden volumes against damage when mounting the outer drive. Now click next. Or exit actually. 
We're going to hit cancel and we're out of there. Now, folks, you're all going to be like, well, I created the files, but how do I use them to encrypt? Now, it's the same procedure to load anything. In this program, you have auto mount device and you have mount. Auto mount is when you know the password and the password's unique. Hit auto mount, it will load it at automatically. Now, let's say we want to mode load the outer drive. You'll click mount, but we have to select the drive letter first. So click mount. Hmm. Select device. You there? That's better. Select device first when you want to go get it, or you can select the file that you want to actually unlock. Hit mount. Put in the password that you have chosen for this. Now, if there is a hidden partition, go to mount options. Protect hidden volume against damage caused by writing to outer volume. Put that password in. Hold on. Click OK. Click OK again. The hidden volume is now protected against damage until the outer volume is dismounted. Now you can actually open the outer volume. Hold on. There. See the documents? They're right here. Now, if you want to go into the hidden volume, simply dismount the drive. But this time, when you try to mount, you put in the password of the hidden drive instead. Again, like I said, use a complicated password that you could, even you will forget under duress. That way nobody can get it out of your mouth. There, we're now within the hidden partition. Again, you can actually log in. This is where you would put all your secret documents. Now folks, how do you destroy this in a hurry? I'm gonna show you a trick. This is how you destroy a hidden partition very fast. Do not go under mount options. Do not select protect hidden volume against damage by writing to outer volume. Simply write in the password of the outer drive. It will not protect the hidden drive. Whoops, have to put the right password. There. Now, the program's not even aware of the hidden drive. If you stick in a big enough file in this, at this point, it will destroy the hidden drive, preventing people from ever seeing what was in this. But only do this under duress. Okay, people. Now, let's dismount. And next. Want a good reason for using hidden partitions or stenography? It is plausible deniability. Keep the blackmailers, the defrauders, the thieves of information, spouses, friends, and foes, courts, and police agencies out of your sensitive and classified information through the use of plausible deniability. Store anything you want in the outer volume, but I'll put all your information you want to protect inside the hidden volume. This way, there is no way anybody can convict you of a crime you didn't do, can actually blackmail you. There is no way that anybody can actually figure out what's in there. And best of all, if anybody writes anything to the outer volume, that volume might accidentally be destroyed, working in your favor. This means you are better off, people. Of course, password, doesn't matter how complicated it is, if you tell somebody, they can be put under a state of duress and reveal the password to your hidden volume. Tell them neither friend or foe, neither bad guy or good guy, the password of your hidden partition unless it will serve you best. And only under the authority of a lawyer, people. Please keep that in mind. Also, like I said, don't tell anybody, because unlike file encryption, which will tell no words, people have a hard time shutting up. They'll say it to somebody by accident or in their sleep, but you'll never have 
an encrypted file revealed the password to a virus. It just won't happen. Now, if you want to see the show notes of the show, you can head over to www.zedaxis.net. I have added links to advertise on my show. I'm only charging $10 per advertisement at 30 seconds for my show. If you want to sponsor my show by just donating money, the PayPal address is tqa at zaxis.net. Again, it's in the show notes too. Next week, I'll be talking about hard drive spring cleaning. Tips, tricks, and software to clean up your hard drive. That way, it'll keep running like when you bought it. Also, that list of software, the majority of it will all be free. The best price for everybody strapped for cash. So, folks, come back next week, which is Sunday, April 10th, to another episode of your Technology Questions Answered. And if you have sensitive documents you need to hide, hide them right now. Encrypt them all. That way, nobody can see them. So, have a great day. Until next week, goodbye.